Hello, a very good evening ladies and gentlemen and welcome you all back to my channel Tia Dinner DK. If you guys are new to the channel, my humble request kindly do subscribe so that new content is available to you. So today we're going to talk about uh, one country that was actually, this is the last country. I've talked about Hong Kong and I've talked about Seychelles and now uh, I'm going to talk about United Kingdom. So of course we all know for UK we have to get the ORE and the LDS. However, there is uh, one alternative route that I just found out in which you do not have to do ORE and LDS and you can, it's a course that you have to do and after that you are registered and you can work as a dentist in the United Kingdom. So we're going to talk more about it today. However, I would like to say that this is not for everyone but just for the sake of general knowledge it's good if you know about it because it's expensive and there are other pros and cons to it so maybe it's not for everyone but it's worth knowing about. So let's go. Now there's a university in England which is near Manchester. It is a uh, Euclid, which is University of Central uh, like Shire, I think. So it is, uh, it is pretty popular and it's near Manchester, so it's a good location. And over there, what they're doing now is that there is um, a program that international students, who are non-European students, can take that program. And the third and the final year are, is repeated, right? That's what it's all about. So you have to do two years extra. The last two years are basically repeated with your electors, etc. Now, um, once you get enrolled in it, the one thing is it is expensive. It is approximately, um, I think, 50,000, uh, sorry, 70,000 more than that. So it is expensive. But the catch here is that it is associated with my dentist and they give you some uh, grants. So they would give you, first, they're going to give you a scholarship of approximately 12,000, if I'm not wrong. And with that, you can actually work in one of their clinics as a hygienist, therapist, nurse, etc. And with that, of course, you're going to get paid as well, So, which is going to be approximately £12,000 per year. So in that comparison, 12 plus 12, if you multiply it and you can deduct it from the main fees, so you will have a leeway a little bit there. Now, once you are uh, qualified from there, of course, you can very easily get a job in one of the clinics of uh, my dentist associated with them. And they have a lot of clinics, so you can very easily get a job as well. So this is the route. Now, if you want to apply, there are some, of course, some documentation. The document here mentioned right here. Of course, it's the usual documentation that we have to apply. And once all of these documentation is done, applied, you can actually get admission. So this is one of the ways that we can do, um, we can actually work in United Kingdom without the ORE or the LDS. But of course, like I said, it's not for everyone. But if somebody wants to try it out, of course, you're more than welcome. So this is just a brief video regarding an alternative to the ORE that I thought was definitely worth mentioning. I said that, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. If there are any questions, you're more than welcome to message me on my Instagram. And uh, of course, uh, well, thank you very much, of course, for the love and support. I get a lot of emails, but unfortunately, there's so many that I think it will take uh, me a month to read some of the emails because there are a lot. But I'll try my best as soon as possible I can, or I'll make another video in which I would uh, uh, talk about the questions, the usual questions, and the answers. So I'll make a video of that as well so it's easier. Other than that, if you have questions, you're all the welcome to message me there, and I will see you around. And other than that, um, I hope you have a lovely day. Thank you.